So as we all knows that in last class, I taught you what is atomic number and what is the significance of uh, atomic number. Okay. So what is the symbol for atomic number, everybody? What is the symbol for atomic number, please? Z. You said. So symbol for atomic number is Z. And atomic number means, as I told you, only one thing should come into our mind. What is that, everybody? Protons. Number of protons. So that is what. So you question yourself, sir, I remembered or not. So that's what. So number of protons. So whenever you are talking about atomic number, you need to only consider about the number of protons. So that is what. So, and always remember, for any, any atom, any element, any element, only who will involve in chemical reaction? Everybody? Who will involve in chemical electron. reaction? Electron. Electron. Not that, the, which electron? That is also I told you. The electrons which is in which is valency in cell. valency cell. So the electrons which is in valency cell, that alone will involve in the chemical reaction. So, atom or ion. So, always number of protons are what? Equal. Do you understand? So, same protons and ion also what? Same protons. Now, so there is a question to you guys. So define ion. Anybody define? Just one word you want to tell me about. Ions. Or two words. Anybody? What is ion? And what is atom? See, many times I taught you. But still, that is what is not. Uh, see, I am doing my work. But you are not doing anything. What is atom? I will say. Atom means... Electrically neutral, that's all. Do you understand? It's a neutral particle, electrically neutral. Electrically neutral, neutral substance. But what is ion, everybody? It's a charged particle. Is it right or wrong? It is a charged particle. So, but again, that charged particle is two types. That is positive charge and negative charge. That's, that is secondary. Do you understand what I'm saying, guys? So, what is ion? If somebody asks ion, ion, define ion. Ion means what? It is a charged particle. Do you understand? So, atom turn up into ion in two different ways. What is the ways? Everybody? Either by loss of electron or by gain, gain of electron. electron. That is what you have to remember. Either by loss of electron or by gain of electron, it will be turned up into ion. So, that's what he is expecting. You, you, you have to be. That's what I always remember all of you. Atom turn up into ion either by loss of electron or by gain of electron. That's all. Loss of electron, it will turn up into positive ion. So, we used to say positive ion means it is a, what is another name of positive ion. Everybody. We used to call it as cation. Cation. By gain of electrons, it will turn up into negative ion. So, which we used to call it as anion. Clear? All of so please remember by loss, by loss or give, giving electrons. Giving electrons turn up into positive cation. There is secondary. What is ion? Define ion. Ion is a charged particle. What is atom? Atom is electrically neutral substance. That's all. That is what is the basic knowledge. So somebody asks, you, you all need to respond. That's your responsibility. So please remember that. Okay. So that is what. So atomic number in an any element, number of protons only. So atom of an element or ion of an element, same number of protons is there. So atomic number of an atom or the atomic number of an ion is always remains same. So even we have, I have given you many examples. If I take for example, sodium atom and sodium ion. So what is atomic number? Same 11 protons, same 11 protons. Do you understand? Everybody clear? Please respond. Mr. Kishore, call to Lingesh. Mm -hmm. Mr. Pranav, give a call to Mr. Mari. One by one. Just have a glance, make it and finish it. You will get the list. Just check it, friends, hey, whomever missing. Mr. Kishore, call to Lingesh. That's what. So, this is what you have to remember. I hope you all understand significance of atomic number. Please respond, everybody. Alfin. 
Are you writing the notes? Atomic number means what you will remember? Atomic number means what you will remember? I am asking. This is what it is. So atomic number means you have to remember what everybody. Others? Number of protons. I am calling you. Number of protons. I am an audible Mr. Alfin. I am calling you again. Three times I call you now. Remember. Next. So coming to the mass number. So we will continue from there. So if you have been taken the mass number. So mass number I already told you. What is the symbol for mass number? Everybody. Shivani. Hiroshi. What is the symbol for mass number? Everyone. A. a. Mass number, the symbol is A. So mass number means you have to talk about two things. What is that, everybody? Mass number, number means you have to talk about... Number of protons and number of neutrons. So you have to talk about uh, number of protons. A plus, we'll consider what? Number of, number of neutrons. Okay? So that is what you have to remember. So remember the mass of proton. Mass of proton will consider as a 1U. And same way, approximately mass of neutron. Mass of neutron also how much? Everybody. Mass of neutron also how much, guy? 1U only. Do you understand? 1U. U means what? Define U, everybody. Unified mass. R will say, what is that? What is U? Atomic mass. Is it right or wrong? That is what. So approximately you consider understanding mass of proton equals to mass of neutron. So that is what is the mass number. So now let us come to the significance. So what is the significance of significance of mass number? So there is two important points. So let us discuss and then we will go to the notation of an atom. So from here every concept has its own value. So you cannot show negligence towards to any things. As I already told, when I call, you have to give your answer at least in chart. Otherwise, I am not going to accept I am saying. All people are like this only. All cheating fellows only, not at all responding, I know. At least in chart, you have to respond if you are not able to speak. So please, follow the instructions. That is everything for your betterment only. So significance of mass number. So we all know that mass of proton is 1u, mass of neutron is also 1u. u means what? Unified mass. So we will therefore, mass of an atom is equal to the what? Sum of the number of protons and neutrons found in an atom. That is what you have to remember. So right, since, since mass of each proton mass of each proton and neutron neutron is equal to 1u equal to 1u this is 1u 1u unified mass we all remember correct atomic mass is anywhere than what define atomic mass amu 1 by 12th of carbon, carbon atom Please learn carbon 12 water means mm -hmm. 1 by 12th part of a carbon 12 water. That is what you have to remember. Okay. Make it. Mari late, 15, 20 minutes late, Mari. That is what sincerity always day by day. I am not happy at all. Concerned. So, therefore, mass of an atom, mass of an atom, mass of an atom is equal to the sum of sum of the number of protons number of protons and neutrons neutrons found in an atom now first question to mr mari only i want to know what is mr mari why we are not considering mass of electrons here i need to know So what is the reason, everyone? What is the reason we are not considering mass of an electron, everyone? Girls? The mass of electron is negligible. 
Yes, the mass of electrons is considered negligible. Considered negligible. Negligible and it is not. Negligible because it is approximately, we all know that. So, mass of one proton is equals to, yes, no, sorry, mass of one electron, one electron is equals to 1 by 1057 times of mass of proton. So, that is what, that much it is smaller. So, that is the reason we will neglect it. It's clear, everybody? So, that is what you have to remember. Second point. From the mass number, from the mass number, what we can calculate? Last class I told you. From the mass number, we can find two things. Number of protons and number of neutrons. Note my word. If you know the mass number, you can calculate uh, number of electrons, number of protons, number of neutrons. Everything. Everything you can calculate. We will do numericals also in our today's class. So that's the remember. Right. From the mass number... From the mass number, we can calculate, we can calculate the number of protons, number of protons and neutrons Present in an atom. Clear everybody? All of you? Yes, please. Yes, sir. Now I am going to say you again the same thing what I taught you in the last uh, class. So always keep it in mind. So we all know that Atomic number is equals to what is that everybody? Number of number of protons. Proton. Now mass mass number is equals to number of protons plus number of neutrons. So number of protons means we all know. Number of protons means what I can consider everybody. Number of protons means what guys? This is what very bad it is. Number of protons means what is that? Atomic number. So I can write number of protons means atomic number plus number of neutrons means n. So this is what is the formula. You can calculate. Now number of neutrons equals to what is the formula? I want to calculate number of neutrons. So how I can find everybody? Atomic mass minus mm -hmm. atomic number. If I subtract the atomic number from atomic mass, I will get the number of neutrons. That's all. Learn it. That is only important. So number of protons means atomic number is Z. So number of protons plus number of neutrons. So number of protons is Z I am writing plus number of neutrons I am considering N. So atomic mass is equals to atomic number plus number of neutrons. Atomic number means what? Number of protons. Only. That is what you have So this is the significance of mass number. Only two points. Mr. Gokul, understand and have written the class. I want to know. Mr. Lingesh, no sincerity. Again, somebody need to call you. You cannot wake up. Write it. Mr. Google, I call you. I am audible. Finish it fast. Next. So this is the most important one. That is what? Notation of an atom. Notation of an atom. Notation of an atom. So, what is this? Let us discuss now. So, right. Atom is generally represented by symbol X. Atom. Any atom. Either it is hydrogen, helium. We don't know. So, generally any kind of atom is represented ge represented generally by a symbol by a symbol capital X capital X 
with a and z what is a everyone what is a mass number atomic mass number atomic mass or mass number z z means atomic number atomic number, atomic number. so note it a is superscript computer computer you all know excel sheet and uh, this word document superscript and z is subscript so subscript means down or up down or up everybody to their left side subscript and superscript so please note it everyone has to remember that so this is only an only left side you have to remember so how to represent here so i'll make it so you have to take a symbol x so whatever the element x element so left side this is left and this is right so superscript means up up is always represent atomic number down is always represent sorry mass number up and atomic number down so this is the representation of a, any kind of an element if you are representing so always remember superscript up is represented mass number or atomic mass down it is represented atomic number atomic number that is what you have say information you have to get it from the these things hope you all clear i am not having anything so i hope everybody understand so let me know you understand or not everybody yes please yes sir please do it note it mr pronunci in watson i have given you number and you have to follow the same pattern i renamed you according to that to follow from tomorrow make it everybody understand kavya sangamitra alfin so what is here x x is a what everybody what is the x symbol of an element symbol of element a is a what everybody sangamitra what is a a is a what mass number or atomic number z what do you mean by z everybody what do you mean by z all of you atomic number atomic number sorry note it and do it finish i said you not able to speak chat at least you have to respond and pradhana darshan and all involved in the class i want everything this your responsibility no need to i, I no need to call whomever the names i familiar i can every time but every time i cannot call everybody this your responsibility as a speaker chat you have to respond give a response you are you are only learning i am not going to learning anything mainly mr mugesh alfin and all i don't know what is happening so finish it everybody so this is what is about it so now if you all take it everyone so we are going to study numericals based on the calculation of number of electrons protons and neutrons and then we will go with the, the most important a weighting concept that's what electronic configuration so how to find the valencies how to draw the these all the things we are going to make okay so that is what is our uh, things so all of you write first question calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons calculate the number of number of electrons protons and neutrons calculate the calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons question number 1 calculate the number of electrons protons and neutrons in in p p means phosphorus please remember but it's okay that's fine it's not required so 15 and 31 so this is what is the given thing so you they will give you this only in the exam from this you have to calculate number of uh number of electrons number of uh, pro positive charge and number of neutrons so i will teach you you see you know also you see first so we all knows i have made a statement 
So always we know this is atomic number. So from this I understand. This is a what? Everybody speak guys. What is that? Mass number. Mass number. Understand? Mass number. So atomic number is 15. Mass number is uh, 31. Now we all know in an any atom, in an any atom, number of R, num, uh, atom, number of protons is equals to something. Anybody? Number of protons is equals to number of atom, number of electrons. In an atom, not ion. Ion not equal. Atom, number of protons equals to number of electrons. Now, and we all know Z means number of protons. Number of protons is only Z. So, number of protons, how many? Everybody. So, 15. number of protons. Number of protons is equals to 15. Now, we all know number of protons is equals to number of electrons. Number of protons. My protons P plus or P, your choice. Number of electrons kandipa E minus. So, number of proton 15 means the number of electrons also how much? Everybody. Number of electrons also how much, guys? 15. Number of electrons also how much? 15. 15. Now, atomic, atomic mass or mass number is equals to, what is the formula? Mass number is equals to, what is the formula? Z plus N. Understand? So, now number of Number of neutrons is equals to atomic mass or mass number minus atomic number. Mass number is 31, atomic number is 15. So, what is the number of neutrons? Everybody? 16. 16. Yeah. Okay. And finally, you can say so 31 minus 15, which is equals to 16. So, that is what is the all the three things. Hope you all understand. I'm clear. Anybody having any doubt, please let me know. So, number of electrons is equals to 15. Number of protons is equals to number of protons is equals to 15. And number of neutrons is equals to 16. This is what is the given element. That's all it is. I think it is easy. So, Jay Krishna solving. Pradhana. Yes, sir. Yeah. Please. Completed. Everybody, I want to know response, please. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Make it, make it. Now, you all uh, observe. Now the question I will give you. I won't say you all make it. Right. The atomic number of potassium is 19. The atomic number of potassium is question number 2. The atomic number of the atomic number of Alvin for this question you have to answer in chart at least. If not please don't. I am very angry I am saying. Atomic number of potassium is 19 and mass number mass number what is the symbol for mass number everybody a is actually 39 now calculate the calculate number of electrons number of protons and number of neutrons everybody start doing neatly Clearly, everybody has to answer and you have to do it. Niroshi, Alfin only will answer. You all wait and you finish it. I'll see. If not answering, that's all. This Today is the last thing. I'm very serious. Not going to excuse anybody. Everybody answer. Everybody do it. 
no excuses for anyone i'm very particular it is at least from new year start working finish it fast only 2 minutes time later you have to answer it sir can you please show the question Sir, number of protons is equal to 19. Number of protons is equal to 19. Good. 19. And number of electrons is also equal to 19. Yes. Number of neutrons is equal to 20. 19, 19, 20. Have you solved everything, Alvin, neatly? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How, how you found number of neutrons? I want to know. A minus is it? No, Mass no. number minus atomic number. That's all. Do it. So that is what is the beauty of studies. Showing interest always the good things will happen. Try to involve in the class. Being a part of a class is always what is, I can say. It's, a, it's the best part. I am saying you are correct. You will never understand what is this. Okay. Do it fast. Everybody sees. Others also solve. Completed everybody. I want to know. Yes, yeah. Make it quick. This lazy girls, many girls are sleeping. All lethargic girls. Nobody has sincerity. Always sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. Right next, everyone. So this is what is about it. Now we are going to introduce the next concept. That is what is uh, electronic configuration. This is the most important con concept. Throughout your life, if you are in a science stream, wherever you are, or even medicine, or it is engineering, water, doesn't matter. So if you are touching the chemistry, definitely this is the first concept you have to remember in our mind. So that is what is the importance. So let us see now, all of you keep electronic configuration. Mr. Pradhi completed this question. Still I want time means I'll give. Everybody do it fast. Completed everybody? <laughs> okay. So, right. So, the next most important concept, that's what it is, uh, electronic configuration. So, here, first I will teach the ninth class level and then I will introduce the another half book principle also I will introduce. Okay. So I, that is also I will teach you no, nothing because you have to learn that nothing will be there. So like write everybody. Electronic configuration. So we can say it's easy. You can put electronic configuration easy. Okay. Right. If, if anybody asks single statement about electronic configuration what do you mean by electronic configuration i will say what is the significance if anybody asks significance the significance is we can find the valence electrons what is the significance of electronic configuration we can find the valence electrons. electrons and what is electronic configuration arrangement of electrons that's all Simply, if you want, that's what I say is always a minimum, minimum things you have to remember. If the, anybody asked you, what is the valency? What is the importance of electronic configuration? A single word, we can calculate the valence of the electron. Valence, valency, valency we used to say. So I, will, I will teach you what is valency. We can calculate the valency of an element. Valency of an element. Next, what is electronic configuration? Arrangement of electrons. That's clear, everyone. 
all of you yes please yes sir yeah see if it want see this electronic configuration is the exact phenomena which will define entire element if i give the electronic configuration you can speak about anything in the atom like what is the nature of the atom what is the property of the atom either it is going to form cation it is going to form anion it is a metal it is a non metal what is the protons what is the electrons what is neutrons number you, if i give electronic configuration you can talk anything about the atom that's why we says it is a complete profile an profile of an atom it is a complete profile you can able to get a complete profile or information like we see that if i see your profile i will i will know your name your date of birth your x y z all the things that is the same information here a electronic configuration is like if you want to define it is everything about the atom from the electronic configuration you can get any information of about an atom clear everybody so that is what so right the complete profile electronic configuration means electronic configuration means it is the you never find these language anywhere else understand this is only our language our understanding and we we want to be do the better that is what it is so it is a, it's all about complete okay kishore focus on class the complete profile of an element right it will talk about what distribution of electrons that is what electron arrangement distribution of electrons so whenever you are talking about electronic configuration you need to only talk about what electrons clear the distribution of electrons in different shells i want no other names of shells anybody other names Orbit. of shells orbits orbits also call it as energy levels yesterday also i told day before yesterday energy levels in order in order of in order of increasing energy so please note it in order of increasing energy r r r option the arrangement meeting is going to end i want to see everybody back fastly so the arrangement of electrons r you learn any one definition the arrangement of electrons electrons in different shell different shells in an atom in an atom is called is called the electronic configuration okay or electron arrangement also note it electronic configuration also we can call it as electronic arrangement okay or electronic configuration okay do it everybody clear everybody finish it and meet